Welcome back for an Ask Sage tutorial. Today we're going to dive into creating a data set and understanding how they work. Let's get started. First, let's open a new chat. To create a new data set, click Advance, then Upload New Files. Now select Create a New Data Set. Then give it a name and click Create Data Set. Make sure to select your new data set from the drop down box so Ask Sage will add your files to the data set. Now select the files you want to add. These can be PDFs, Excel sheets, Word documents, images, videos, and more. Once selected, click Ingest Files. Your files will be processed and added to the data set. When you create a new data set, the files you ingest are transcribed into plain text, then parsed into 500 token chunks, keeping complete sentences intact. Image files are analyzed and transcribed into a plain text description about the image. The actual image is not part of the data set. All of the chunks are then compiled in your selected data set. It's important to understand that large language models have limits on the number of data chunks that can pass through the context window. To identify the most relevant data chunks to a query, the data set is run through a semantic search before determining which data chunks, within the set limits, can become part of the context window. When drafting your prompt, consider these data chunk limits as you may find a query is best completed iteratively or with a more complex search plugin when a data set is particularly large. Now let's dive into how you query a data set to get the most relevant and accurate responses. When your query only needs to consider the information in a selection of your data, you can limit the prompt to only the relevant data sets by selecting Advanced. Next, select your data set from the drop-down box. Then, type your question in the chat box and click Submit to run your query. Ask Sage will generate a response drawn from relevant context only in the selected data sets. Notice the references at the bottom. These references promote transparency and accuracy by ensuring that the sources informing the response are cited. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Happy querying!